Hello, welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. Today I have uh, something to show you, which it's uh, it's a 3D printer. Um, you know, I, I had heard of 3D printers, things that they use to fabricate parts in factories or things like that. You know, it started out as a very expensive thing, but I had heard in more recent years that they had gotten uh, cheap enough that it was more accessible to your average person and so I, I looked into it and uh, and I got one for myself so uh, my 3d printer is printing something right now and let's take a look at it so I have my 3d printer here printing a uh, articulated axolotl um, so you can see it's it's forming here there's going to be the, the head at the front, the legs there, the body, the tail back here. So what you can see here is that the 3D printer, it starts printing the bottom layer first uh, and it, it goes up. Um, so the top of this axolotl, you see it's, it's not there because it hasn't gotten to that layer yet. So it prints layer by layer starting at the bottom and going up so this uh, this printing plate moves moves down uh, so that this thing can print a layer it moves down prints the next layer moves down prints the next layer that's how this actually works uh, so there's uh, this filament so I've got the pink colored filament spool on here right now uh, it goes up into the feeder here goes through this tube to the nozzle and the nozzle is heated it heats the filament, um, turns it into uh, a molten uh, state so that it can extrude it into the shape that you require. Um, so this particular uh, model, this is a Creality Ender 5 Pro. And um, I was able to get this on sale at one point for about $300, so you should be able to find them for about $300 if you're looking for a model like this one. I started out with a smaller model, cheaper model, you know, it was enough to, to kind of get going, but uh, in order to print things that were larger um, and better quality, you know, I decided to go with this one. And there's a lot of different models of 3D printers out there if you want to do your research, but this is the one that... Uh, that met my needs best for the price that I was willing to spend, I think. And um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what this articulated axolotl looks like when it's completely done. Should be a couple more hours here, I think, and it'll be done. Um, altogether, it's taking about 12 hours to print this particular model. So it does take some time to do these things, but you know, you, you get it started and then you just leave it, you let it go. It, it's not difficult to do. Um, the the filament I use PLA filament it's uh, supposed to be plant-based so that if uh, you make something out of PLA it goes into the ground um, where it can start to generate a little bit of heat or something in there uh, like in a compost pile type of situation um, it can eventually biodegrade after you know it takes a number of years I think but uh, supposedly it's more environmentally friendly than your standard plastic um, so I use PLA filament. I pay usually about $15 per spool. It's a one kilogram spool typically, so that's like 2.2 pounds. Um, and that lasts quite a while because basically whatever your model ends up weighing, um, you know, that's how much of the filament it's using. And this particular one, I think it was supposed to use about 100 grams of filament, if I remember right, something like that. Um, so out of a kilogram, that's... 10% I guess uh, so I could make at least you know nine or or ten of these things with uh, with this spool and this is a very large model this is about as big as I can possibly go on this build plate so if I built them smaller I could build more and uh, so yeah we'll, we'll take a look at this model here when it's completely done just so you can see how it turns out so this is what the finished print looks like. So this uh, build plate on here is magnetic, just comes right off. And then you can just kind of uh, carefully bend the plate away from the, uh, 
the item that you've printed and uh, kind of push it up away from the mat. I'm going to do the rest of this two-handed though so that I don't break anything. And this is my finished print of my articulated uh, axolotl here. So you can see because it's articulated it, it moves. It can turn and twist. And the way that this was made um, all of the, the pieces are connected together but they're still movable and it, and it just prints like that. You don't have to do anything to put it together. It's, it's really neat. I mean you can do things like this with 3D printers and a whole lot more. So if you're interested in, uh, in 3D printing, again the one that I'm using is called a Creality Ender 5 Pro. And uh, this is just one of uh, many files that you can find out there for free to 3D print. I use a website called Thingiverse. Uh, dot com uh, to find most of the free uh, things that people have put out there. I, I printed all kinds of neat things, so um, that's that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed uh, seeing this video about my 3D printer and seeing uh, you know what it's capable of here. It's just one example, but uh, it's a pretty neat thing 3D printing. So if, if it interests you at all, uh, there's a lot of information out there about it. Just uh, you know, Google it and. Uh, if you have any particular questions, uh, you know, put the comments out there. I'll see if I can direct you to um, further information. And remember, until next time, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some. Thank you.